and Mustafa carries out a consumer and serving his town. He wants to find out the ages of the people in serving. It's fair enough. I've got to criticize each of the following two questions. How old are you? Write your name in the box. Some people find that rude. Rude. They don't. They don't want to say their exact age. They far rather have a box to put it in too. Don't want to say exact age. Uh, what is your age? Put a tick in the correct box. Well, this is nicer because you can. It's less. You can you can blur it a bit. But there's a problem. Where's a twenty-year-old going to put theirs? Okay, twenty goes into both. So you got there. You've got overlapping boxes. And if you have boxes, you've got to make sure that it's, they are they are clear that they can only go in one and not the other. And we're going to have to do this now, aren't we? We've got to write a question you could use, including suitable option boxes. So it's how many pints of milk each household buys a week. So put that into a question. How many uh, pints of milk does your household buy each week? And I'll put a box underneath this. You've got to have one for zero. There must be a chance of saying zero. And it says use 20 as a maximum. So I'm going to go one to five. I can go six to ten and notice how I haven't got this overlapping. Five goes into here, but six would go into here. Eleven to sixteen, uh, fifteen, and sixteen to twenty. Wouldn't actually matter if they're not even. It's probably better if they are, but they don't have to be even. And then put a little box for each of them so they can tick the box they want to. I'm a bit squash for space down there, uh, but that's how we go. And that's question twenty-three done.